In today's video, brought to you by Maven Asset Management, we're going to explore Maximo Health. We'll take a deep dive and look at the scoring functionality, specifically as it relates to groups. Groups help us identify what assets or locations we're going to measure. And to highlight the tight integration between Maximo Manage and Maximo Health, we'll start our demonstration in Maximo Manage and highlight the set of assets that we're going to explore or analyze their health of in more detail. And then we'll jump into Maximo Health and set up our initial group. To start our demonstration today, I've signed into the application suite and I've accessed Maximo Manage in the asset application. I have a default query here for my P1 line assets. So what I really want to do is I want to open up my drill down and just highlight where these stand within the organization. So I happen to know that this P1 or production line is really critical to the organization. And this is what I want to analyze. All of these assets located under location BPM 3100, I want to better understand what their health is. So while Maximo gives me this great visualization, to really delve into the details, I need to go over to Maximo Health. Before I do that, I want to highlight this query that I've set up, my P1 line assets. I come over here and I take a look at my where clause. And again, I'm looking at my assets that are in site Bedford located under that site. So now to head over to Health, I can use my navigator or app switch on the far right hand side and I now go to Health. Once I'm brought over to Health, you'll notice that I'm in that same browser session and I'm brought immediately to Assets. Well, in this case, I want to set up something new, so I'm going to hold on the Assets functionality and navigate down my menu here to Scoring. So scoring is made up of three segments and we'll talk in detail about each. First is our groups, our score types, and our contributors. So we're going to focus on our groups today and we're going to create a new group. How do I do that? Always look for that blue button to create our new group. And I'm going to just put a name here because there's a couple of things I want to highlight first. I'm going to give a name and a description, before, but before I do the rest of that, I want to bring your attention down here in the bottom where it's prompted me to look at either the asset or the location. Why is this important? Well, this is where we're going to draw in that functionality from Maximo. So notice if I have the object for asset enabled, I come over here to look at my queries. It's going to do some really incredible things. It's going to go to the Maximo database because Manage and Health share the same database and it gives me a list of queries. Notice that I have a number on the top and as I scroll down here, I'm going to start to see some of the queries prepended with the object name. So in this case, all of these that start with asset are the queries that were developed in the Maximo asset application and I can bring those over. But look at all these other queries. Where are they coming from? Well, let's hold on to their thought and show you also what you can see for location. Again, we're going to see different queries now, either again, these unknown ones, or here's a single query that was um, excuse me, created in the location app. But again, let's go back and investigate this a little bit further before we actually create this group. Where are all these queries coming from? Well, they're coming from Maximo, and that's the beauty of, again, using Manage and Health, being able to share that information. Well, where are they coming from Maximo? They're actually coming from the object structure application. If I do a filter on MX API asset, because that's where this is drawing from, oop, keep that action menu open, and I scroll down here to the query definition, notice all these queries here. These are the queries that Asset Health is pulling from. You can see Asset Health, Asset Health, excuse me, all assets, failure probability, high cost, high cost, etc. Some that are created locally, my mobile assets, mobile my assets. All of these queries showing that very, very tight integration between Manage and Health. Whoops, I didn't mean to open a new object structure. Sorry about that. So again. The combination of queries created from the object structure, 
and the queries created in the application. So again, all of the queries that I see over here that I've created within the app are now available to me in health when I create my scoring group. So let's head back over to health and create that scoring group the right way. Now that we know where those values are coming from, I'm going to create a new group. I'm going to call this my P1 um, production line asset, and I'm going to call it a demo. And these are critical assets I need to uh, measure asset health to understand, to better understand their status. I don't know what the right word is. That's, that sounds pretty good for now. So again, I can change it at any time. Here's my asset. Again, now we know where these queries are coming from. All of those ones that we saw from the object structures. This is the one that I want, but again, all the object structures plus the combination of the one from the application, and I'm going to go ahead and create that. It gives me a message that my group is created. I can make changes anymore uh, that, you know, here, these are critical assets, not I, that the organization, ooh, such a bad speller, organization needs to measure asset health to understand. Perfect. So now what we're going to start to do is that brings in automatically all those queries that I had, the 13 of them. And if I go back over here to manage just to verify that. So when I bring up that asset application and my P1 assets 13, see how simple and seamless that is. Whoops, I clicked on manage again. I meant to go to health. No worries. We just go back over there. Here's our scoring group that we've created. See how seamless and easy this is? And here is our demo. And now what we're gonna start to do in our next videos is to actually build up the scores that we see here.